Hello and welcome to our latest CloudWords video. My name is Mauricio and today we're bringing you our review of Mega. We have had plenty of good things to say about Mega over the years. It offers a generous amount of free storage and is hot on features such as privacy and security. It does have some drawbacks, especially for those looking to be productive inside their cloud storage platform. And it would certainly benefit from tweaking the cost of its pay plans. I'll get into all of that and much more as we get deeper into the video. So stay with me. But before we continue, if I could please ask you all to subscribe to the channel. Also hit the like and leave a comment below to let us know what you think of the video. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithms and ensures you keep up to date with future videos here at CloudWords. But now let's just dive into the mega review, shall we? So for those of you who are unfamiliar, Mega is a cloud storage service. This means that it stores your files online where you can easily access them from anywhere with an internet connection. It also syncs your files between the devices where you have it installed. So you don't need to carry around a USB stick to move your files. Mega made it into our top five cloud storage providers in 2022. In terms of features and functionality, it's still behind our number one pick, sync.com. However, mega strong security makes it an attractive choice and it throws in a massive 20 gigabytes free plan to sweeten the deal. Let's start with all that the service offers in terms of features now. Like most of our top cloud storage picks, Mega is built to be private and secure. Its features reflect this choice, and this both is a good thing and a bad thing at the same time. But let's start with the good. Everything you store on Mega is encrypted end to end. While that's not really unique to Mega, it also has some special sharing features that up the security factor. All sharing links on Mega are encrypted and you have complete control over the encryption key. You can choose to send the encryption key separately via a secure channel so that even if someone discovers the sharing link, they won't be able to decrypt and download the shared file. Also, you get basically uh, passwords and expiry dates for sharing links, although those aren't available for free users, unfortunately. You can also chat with other users using Mega's secure chat option. Like everything else on Mega, this chat is encrypted end to end, which means no one can see the contents of your chats. Mega keeps up to 100 previous versions of your files and keeps them forever in case you need to restore an older version. It also keeps files you delete, though those have a time limit of 30 days before they are deleted permanently. Unfortunately, Mega doesn't offer much in the way of productivity. Unlike less secure services like Google Drive, Mega can't integrate with Office apps like Google Docs and Microsoft Office. Then again, most secure cloud services are the same way, with a notable exception of Sync.com. And that's especially true if they use the secret sauce that Mega also uses called Zero Knowledge Encryption. We'll talk about this important security feature in our next next section. Mega offers zero knowledge encryption, meaning the user gets full control of who gets access to their files, making it harder for prying eyes to access them. Normally, a cloud storage service holds the encryption key that protects your files. With zero knowledge encryption, you're the one holding the keys, giving you complete protection. When you consider the number of cloud storage providers available, relatively few services offer this feature, actually. Besides zero knowledge, Mega also has two-factor authentication. So even if someone steals your login info, they won't be able to get into your account. However, the history of Mega is a little murky. While we trust the service, its founder, Kim.com, has had his fair share of controversy over the years. The full story about .com or Kim.com and Mega is way beyond the scope of this review, but we'll link to our full Mega review in the description below in case you want to know more details. We also have a pretty interesting tell-all story about Kim.com and Mega on our website, which we'll also link down below. All you need to know is that .com is basically no longer affiliated with Mega and he's no longer an influence on how the service operates. It should suffice to say that Mega abides by all major privacy laws, including GDPR, which is basically the gold standard for data privacy. Besides this, Mega is still a zero-knowledge service, which means that the service itself has no idea what your files contain and it can't decrypt them. 
The headline-grabbing feature that lures users into using Mega is the sheer amount of free storage up for grabs. While most cloud services tend to offer around 5 to 10 gigabytes of free storage, Mega blows them all away with an incredible 20 gigabytes of free storage space. You can expand the amount of free storage even further by installing Mega's apps, verifying your phone number, and successfully referring your friends to the service. But that only lasts for a certain period of time. You could say this amount of free storage is mega indeed, pardon the pun. <laughs> when it comes to paid plans, you can get anywhere between 400 gigabytes up to a massive 16 terabyte of storage. The plans all come with a discount if you subscribe for a year, which we always recommend you do. Keep in mind that mega's pricing is in euros, but you can see the converted prices on the screen right here. The standard two terabyte plan will run you almost $10 a month with the yearly discount and the largest 16 terabyte plan costs under $30 a month. So how does this exactly compare to the competition? Well, simply put, Mega is one of the more expensive services in the space. Its cost is on par with Dropbox, which offers many more features, especially when it comes to productivity. Now, Dropbox is nowhere near as secure as Mega, so that's the trade-off basically you'd be making. But what about when we compare it to a secure cloud service like Sync.com? Well, Mega costs almost $2 more than Sync.com, and that's with the yearly discount factored in. When you consider that Sync.com offers collaboration via Microsoft Office as well as zero knowledge encryption, you can't help but feel you're maybe overpaying a little bit for Mega. One plus of Mega's plans is that personal users can extend their storage space all the way up to 16 terabyte. That should pique the interest of anyone looking to back up high resolution images and videos. There's also a plan for business users, which gives you the option of unlocking up to a staggering 10 petabyte of storage space. Businesses specializing in content creation should certainly take note here. So there's the foundation of Mega Service, which should be enough to help you decide if the service is right for you. You can also find our written mega review down in the description box below, as always, if you prefer more details about the service itself. Now, before we end this review, let's quickly recap what Mega has to offer. It offers plenty of free storage, a whole 20 gigabytes. It's super secure zero knowledge service. It has secure sharing features, and if you need to store lots of large files, it offers a ton of space on its larger plans. On the other hand, you need to keep a few things in mind before you go all in on Mega. First, it's not the cheapest, especially when you consider that it's a bit light on features. And this is doubly true if you need to collaborate with others and create and edit documents in the cloud. Mega just doesn't have that option and that flexibility, which bugs me a little bit. So. I really hope you enjoyed this mega review and you have now a much bigger, better picture of whether the service meets your needs or not. Just a quick reminder to please subscribe to the channel. Also, if you like this video, hit the like button <laughs> and also leave us a comment down below with your thoughts and would like to read them all so that we get more inspiration for more videos. My name is Mauricio and I'll be back again soon with another Cloudwords video. And thanks for watching and please share.